jam, and it was a massive explosion. I'm, I'm the local plumber. I was just in the neighborhood an hour before that, working on a water heater. It's, um, I stopped to have lunch, at the supper at the diner, and I was headed home, and it was about 10 minutes till 8, and we're expecting some rain to come in, a front to come in, and I heard a clap of thunder, which I thought was thunder, and shortly after that, I, there's water that hit my windshield. I live five miles east of town, and what that water was, it hadn't started raining yet. The, the firefighters were fighting the fire, and it blew up, and it blew that fire water four miles. I live five miles away in Tours, and I can see the glow from my house. And it's the, it's the worst thing that happened in the West and, ever. Uh, is, there, is there a lot of smoke? Uh, there must be, the fumes must be pretty acrid. Yes, ma'am. Toxic fumes. It's like a haze. There's several helicopters lifting people out, and several helicopters are big lights assisting the firefighters and the rescue teams, and it's like a war zone. It's the worst thing that's ever happened in the West. Um, do you know how many people worked at this facility, or how many people might have been caught up in this explosion? Well, it happened about, about, about 8 o'clock or 10 minutes to 8, so there might have been one or two guys there messing around, but it was, it was definitely closed. But my, my plumber's helper lives like across the street, a block away. His house burnt down. His parents were injured. They, they got cuts and bruises from broken glass. But his mother was telling him there was a bunch of children playing basketball at the park, which is right across the street, right across the rail, railroad tracks, actually, from this, from this plant. It's, uh, it's an apartment complex, like about 50 units. Right there, it's not 300 yards. And, and tell us about where it's situated, where West is situated in relation to Waco. Well, if you go north on the interstate, we're about 25 miles in between West and Dallas, in between Waco and Dallas. We're about 20 minutes away from Waco, about an hour away from Dallas. And tell us about the people who, who um, live for the main part in this uh, community of West. Oh, we're real proud of their, our, Czech, our Czech heritage, it's, it's Czech settlers. It's, uh, as a matter of fact, they still had their day of mourning when, when, uh, when the Germans invaded Czechoslovakia. They, they still brought up in churches and stuff like that around here. And this is the worst thing that's happened since then. This is terrible. It's a nice little town. We're real proud of our, our Czech heritage. Me and personally, I'm German. I live in a town that's four miles away. I live in a town that's established in 1872 by my forefathers, now, which Mr. Snyder, to be German. Mr. Snyder, you're very close to Waco, and uh, the world will uh, recognize the name of that town of Waco because of yes, what happened uh, two decades ago. Would you imagine that what's happened in this uh, fertilizer plant will have any link to the anniversary of what happened in Waco uh, two decades ago? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This is just an old plant that probably needed a little maintenance, it's, uh, in my opinion. It's, uh, it, it wasn't nothing like Timothy McVeigh or anything like that. It's just something that happened. It's, uh, I don't really think it was plotted or terrorist or anything. It's, uh, it's just an old plant that probably needed some maintenance.